Hey guys, Garrett McLaughlin here, and today I want to talk about how to improve or increase strength of the soleus muscle. So if you're unfamiliar, the soleus muscle is one of these muscles in the calf. We have this outermost gastrocnemius muscle, and then a little bit deeper down we have the soleus muscle. Why that muscle is so important, because if you look at normal, normal mechanics throughout the running cycle, the knee is always in a small amount of flexion. This gastroc muscle comes up and attaches above the knee joint, but because the soleus muscle does not cross the knee joint, we need to make sure if you're working on different calf raise exercise and calf strengthening exercises, you're doing that in more of a knee bent position to really address that soleus muscle. So in this video, what I'm going to do is show you four soleus strengthening exercises for you to see better results with your running. The first two exercises in this progression are isometric exercises, mean, meaning we're getting ourselves, our ankles into a position and we're holding that position for a period of time, whether it's 30 to 60 seconds or longer, okay? So this first exercise is called the soleus wall sit, something I picked up from Chris Johnson at a recent uh, running seminar last year. So a very simple exercise and why I like it is because you can vary the level of difficulty. So um, pretty much all these exercises, we're going into more of a calf raise position. So there's really nothing different as far as the movement of the ankle. This one, because it's isometric, we're just gonna come up and hold that position. So through here, you can see I'm in a knee bent position. Um, pretty upright, kind of like I'm sitting in a wall, sit against the wall here, and I'm holding into the ankles in that soleus muscle. So over a period of time, start to really feel that burn as you, as you really target that, that strength and endurance at the soleus. So to make this exercise a little bit harder, we can drop lower into this position, a little more body weight down into the legs, or we can also add resistance. So something as simple as grabbing a dumbbell, barbell, getting into that low position, coming up, equal pressure, on all toes, good posture there as you sit against the wall. A little bit of added resistance here. Again, as much or as little as you need. And then holding anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes in that position. So that is the first exercise of the progression. The next exercise of this progression is still an isometric exercise when you're looking at length of that soleus muscle in range of motion around the ankle. But now we're adding a greater degree of load because a little bit more shock absorption in resistance to actually moving through that range of motion compared to the, the soleus wall set, which I talked about a second ago. So this exercise is called tiptoe walking. Very simple, um, kind of like people, if people are doing suitcase carries, farmer's walks, we're doing this for a distance 15, 20 feet down and then coming back. Very simply, all you're going to do here is come up on the toes, equal pressure amongst all toes, holding that position. And then now just showing you kind of the body weight variation, all I'm doing here is resisting my body from coming closer down to the ground. So I'm standing up on my tiptoes. I have a bend in the knees, as you can see. So that's getting that added target or added isolation of the soleus muscle, walking down for about 15, 20 feet, and then same thing, walking back. So key here when it comes to the soleus, that knee is in a slightly bent position. We don't want to be up here. Again, you can still perform that exercise, but you'll be getting more emphasis on the gastroc muscle. To make that exercise more challenging, all you need to do is add dumbbells or you can add a barbell on your shoulders to increase the load. Okay, still isometric because that ankle is not changing its, its angle or its degree of motion. A little bit harder here. I can feel that added load. I'm trying to keep the knees bent, keep my posture. Stay in a good position, then same thing, I'm gonna walk down 15, 20 feet, and then I can walk back, okay? So very good exercise. Second exercise in this progression is the tiptoe walking. The third exercise in this soleus strengthening progression is a bent knee calf raise. So same exact theme, knee is in a small degree of flexion, it's bent as I go through this range of motion. So now, again, as compared to the previous two exercises, which were isometric, I was holding that position. I wasn't changing the angle of the ankles. Now we're actually going through the range of motion. So look at running, that ankle is always through a varying degree of range of motion, whether it's 20 degrees of dorsiflexion as you strike the ground through 20 degrees of plantar flexion. So we need to build strength throughout that range of motion. So now this is where we start to include more range of motion. So very simply here, first, um, first part of this exercise, we can simply use the wall for some assistance when it comes to balance. I'm going to go into a bent knee position here, small bend in the knee, and then I'm going to go through my calf raises. So anywhere from 10 to even up to 30 calf raises here, 
but just laying the groundwork now, targeting that soleus through the range of motion. Not a super challenging exercise there, um, but the first step. From there, what I wanna do with that same exact exercise, but add more load. So if you have a barbell, have a pair of dumbbells. Now, I need to, just because um, dumbbells are in my hand now, I cannot hold onto the wall for assistance. A little more balance involved, so small bend in the knees. Coming up, equal pressure on all toes. And then I'm going through that calf raise or heel, heel raise motion. So that's the third exercise in the progression. Now looking at a knee bent standing calf raise. Okay, so now we're at the fourth and final exercise of this soleus strengthening progression. So what I have here is a simple uh, leg press machine. Obviously looking at the exercises we've done previously, um, more upright, uh, I guess you could say a little bit more functional, but if we're looking to really isolate the soleus muscle and build good, good strength and resistance to fatigue, this is a great way to do it. So with the leg press machine, what we can do is really sit back here, not worry about all the other variables as far as um, balance, right, is, is the biggest one in some of these other, other exercises, and really increase load. So what we're gonna do here, just sitting back, and I definitely recommend still including some of those other exercises because they're, they're, they're very valuable, but setting up here on the leg press, everything is the same, right? We still want to be in a position where we have a small bend in the knees. Again, you can vary that angle just to get uh, different length of the soleus muscle, but small deg degree of flexion here at the knees, and all I'm gonna do from here is calf raise and sink in. So good thing about this exercise, and my foot kind of hanging, and just ball the foot is up there on the support, heels are down, I get a good degree of range of motion here at the ankles from dorsiflexion all the way into plantar flexion. So very beneficial exercise to really work that muscle throughout the range of motion. But just want to make sure I'm keeping that small degree of flexion. Obviously, as you incorporate this exercise, you would add on as much resistance as you can to really build that strength and that tolerance to, um, tolerance to load that we need that really is, is similar to running. So very good fourth exercise of this progression that helps you build as much strength and endurance as possible. Okay, runners, there you have it. This is a very simple four exercise progression on how to increase soleus strength. Definitely work through these exercises. Figure out if there's specific ones that work better for you, but I definitely recommend moving through that from isometric to isotonic, just like we did through these four exercises. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. We'd love to help you fine tune this set of exercises and figure out if there's anything else I can do for you moving forward. Thanks for checking out the video.